you mentioned Herbert Marcuse again, and you meet him at Brandeis. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. what, what effect did he have on you? I mean, how did he sh help shape you? Well, he had a profound effect on, um, on my life uh, and, and my work. Uh, uh, I attended his lecture course uh, when I was a first year student, freshman. And I was drawn by the way he uh, was able to put history and philosophy together in a context that allowed us to think about uh, the future as history. And so I watched him from afar for a while. Mm -hmm. um, I can actually remember him uh, uh, speaking uh, during the Cuban miss Missile Crisis. Uh, and, um, James Baldwin was also on the, on the campus. Then he, my second year, he um, spent in Europe teaching. My third year, I spent in Europe at uh, the Sorbonne. And then when I came back for my fourth year, I was ready to um, move from French literature to philosophy, which had, French literature was my major. And I went to him and, 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 and told him that um, I was really interested in studying philosophy, but I didn't know where to begin. Uh, mm. And I hadn't had any formal training. I had, read, um, I had read Sartre and Camus, and I had read a lot of the French philosophers in connection with my French studies. Uh, and so, um, I mean, he didn't, he didn't know me from whoever, mm. but he said, okay, well, let's spend uh, the first semester doing an independent study, which will be an intensive engagement with the history of Western philosophy. So we started with the pre-Socratics, and, and I met with him a couple of times a week and you know, managed to uh, get a, a sense of the history of, of Western philosophy mm. uh, uh, and in one, one semester. <laughs> And then at the end of that semester, he says he told me that I had to take his graduate course uh, hmm. on Kant, on the critique of, uh, of uh, pure reason. And, and then he had me give the first paper in this graduate. I, first of all, I was an undergraduate, right. and he was teaching graduate students uh, yeah. who uh, had, um, uh, had a great deal of preparation and training. And so by the time I finished that, I was, I was hooked. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, it was because of his influence that I decided to go to Germany and study with former colleagues of his, uh, um, Theodore Adorno and Max Horkheimer. And I kept in touch with him uh, during the period I was studying in Germany. And eventually, he was, um, he was fired from his position at Brandeis uh, because he was considered to be too radical. It's a little more complicated than that. Uh, but in any event, he was offered a position at the University of California, San Diego. And uh, I spent two years in Germany, and then I, I returned to this country and studied with him mm. in San Diego. And I would say what, what um, influenced me most was the way in which he negotiated his um, very um, close engagement with philosophical texts. He was an um, incredible reader of, of, of texts. And the way he engaged with those texts and made a connection between possibilities in the real social world. And so I saw him um, I, you know, I took many seminars with him, but I also saw him speak at rallies. I also saw him uh, speak out against the war. I also saw him support uh, the black struggle. I also saw him support the student movement. And so in that way, it was an inspiration for me. Um, watching him made it apparent to me that uh, there didn't have to be a contradiction between academic uh, research and social activism. 
So you saw an example of someone who was both, who could be a serious, serious scholar and also a political activist. Absolutely. A person out in the world more than just in the classroom. Absolutely. Why did you choose Brandeis? You're one of two black students at this uh, overwhelmingly Jewish school. Why Brandeis? Well, I think there were two black students in my class. There uh, were a few more, uh, but there was only a handful right. on the entire campus. Well, I, um, I went to Elizabeth Irwin High School. Mm. Um, the majority of the students there were Jewish, and everybody wanted to go to Brandeis, <laughs> right? But I was the one who got a full scholarship at uh, Brandeis. Mm. Uh, and I, I, mean, I, I knew I wanted to go to college uh, on, um, in the East. You know, I had thought about uh, Western Reserve. I had thought about Mount Holyoke and other places. Uh, but Brandeis seemed to be the best fit uh, for me after visiting you know, these schools. Uh, and uh, it seemed to be the right choice. Uh, 